TGS presents Assassin's Creed Odyssey Legacy of the First Blade Episode 2 Shadow Heritage Achievement Parry 2 Carry 20 Gamer Score 0.09% Rare Heal by parrying 10 times with the Judgment of the Lion So basically you gotta play through the DLC Eventually you obtain the weapon, the Judgment of the Lion Just uh, keep playing through until you unlock it It's pretty far in the story from what I remember On the uh, main quest line And it's 40-48 damage for me it also has health restored on successful parry, 10%. The whole point of this is to simply parry each time and uh, you'll get, keep getting health over and over and over. This is the second achievement video. My Xbox keeps popping up installation stops for a game that's not installing. So sorry about that, but uh, let's continue on. Seems like it knows I'm recording stuff today. We're going to go to this military camp here. We're right up where the DLC occurs in this region right here. Uh, for simplicity, I'm just going to say, you know, it's up to you. I don't recommend going to Alora's Fortress to do this. This seems like a bad idea. Uh, you're going to have a lot more people after you than you want to manage. It's best to have less enemies attacking you than more. You know, they usually say the more the merrier. The less the merrier here because you do want to get successful parries. You can get lucky, but if you're getting attacked from all sides, it's just going to make it a little bit more tedious and difficult. And a little bit more frustrating. So what we're going to do is, uh, you're going to go in here, you're going to hit left bumper, right bumper at the same time. That's going to parry. But you got to do it close to when they're attacking. So you know, just like, hi -yah. Let's go ahead. <laughs> Let's go ahead and go in here. This is kind of like the previous one where I had the sword and you had to, uh, use a certain ability to kill people. Stay out of sight. I'm going to go ahead and do myself a favor before we go in. And just spot the enemies, just to get an idea of where they're located. And how many there are. There's a lot of enemies here. But not as many as a fortress. So What I might do. Is go ahead and mop up a few of these guys real quick. Just on the basis that we can. Not become overwhelmed. And not worry about missing out on this. We're going to wrap around here real quick. And head in through here. Next. We're going to work our way back around this way. I'm spotted oh well we'll just fight but uh if we can get rid of you know a few of these guys it'll help tremendously there's still six remaining give me a moment pairing is pretty simple once you get used to it, it might take a uh, you know attempt or two if you're not used to parrying now, honestly, I was more of a hardcore attack fighter. I did not parry much during my entire playthrough of 160 plus hours. It might be the reason I died here or there, but uh, I just I was just way more aggressive than I was defensive. I've built my character in that manner, and I've also built my uh, my bow abilities specifically to destroy people. It's helped me get through all the bosses and the ogres and all that good stuff. It's definitely hell. There's still five people. See the people outside, be cautious of them as well. Alright, here we go. Basically, you want to let them hit you, actually. So, let them hit you. And then, now we're going to wait till he attacks. There's one parry. And I got to do this six times, so... If they go red like that, I think uh, it just means you can't parry successfully, so keep that in mind. This game was kind enough to include progression on parrying in the achievement list, something a lot of games like to skip out on and then you're stuck guessing what the heck your status is. But just a quick example, we've already jumped to 70% in like three parries. Which I think was right at 40% before. I don't know where I got the 40% because I swore I parried once or twice. But uh, yeah, just keep doing it and eventually it'll pop. This is really nice, a one-on-one -on -one seat. Probably the optimal route for this. Because uh, you can just kind of hang out. I don't know if I actually have to heal each time or if I just have to parry. If we just keep parrying, it might unlock. You might not have to actually physically heal, which would be another perk of just getting it done efficiently. There it is, achievement. Parry to carry. 20 gamer score. 
I knew I was getting it before I got it because I have uh, notifications on my phone, my computer, and my Xbox for achievements and Xbox uh, stuff since I have a decent fan base, over a thousand subs, and I like to keep in contact, be able to manage everything more efficiently. My, my computer just beeped uh, the achievement sound before my Xbox did, so uh, I was ahead of the game there. But <laughs> one of the perks of uh, having multiple stages of notifications. But simple as that, we're just going to go ahead and run away. Very, very easy to achieve. Would really appreciate if you like and sub.